Snakes are one of the most maligned groups of animals on planet Earth. Despite the fact that they can be stunningly beautiful and are endlessly fascinating, some people just can't seem to get over their innate fear of these animals. And part of the reason is the way that snakes are portrayed in mainstream media. Even in modern day quote unquote educational television, snakes are portrayed as unintelligent lower organisms that should be feared. At the end of the day, yes, some snakes possess venom and they are capable of harming humans. But if you watch this channel regularly, you know that I interact with more snakes on a weekly basis than most normal people would in their lifetime. So something doesn't add up. Are snakes really unintelligent lower organisms that are out to get us? Of course not. And I think a lot of people would be really surprised to find out just how intelligent snakes can be. This video was shared by David Heyman in the Georgia Snake Identification and Education Facebook group. And it kind of blew my mind, even as someone who already knows that snakes are way more intelligent than the general public perceives them. And I think it exemplifies my point really well. Here we can see a relatively small adult timber rattlesnake, so a fairly young snake if I had to guess, in ambush on a bench below recently filled bird feeders. According to David, he took this video out his window after he noticed the snake was sitting there. And this is particularly interesting to me because with, with bird feeders, you know on a busy spring day, that bird seed goes fast. This could possibly mean that this snake watched David put the bird seed out and knew that that would mean there would be an uptick in bird activity in this area. Not only that, but the rattlesnake then positions itself in a way that is able to successfully catch a large morning dove. I think it's a morning dove. So I'll be quiet. Check this out. And that is just so insane to me. I mean, the snake was sitting on top of various bird feeding equipment. I just, it blows my mind that this was actually captured on video and that it even happens in the first place, that rattlesnakes know to associate bird feeders with food. I wouldn't typically say that rattlesnakes are among the most intelligent snakes, but I definitely think they're a good example of how snakes are more intelligent than people think they are. Not only do some snakes have pretty good eyesight, but a lot of snakes are very good at following chemical signals to find prey. This is largely due to their well-developed Jacobson's organ, which is pretty much what you're seeing happen when you see a snake repeatedly flipping its tongue like this. It's trying to use its Jacobson's organ to identify what you are and pull scent from the air. So rattlesnakes will do this, and then they'll identify an area with a overwhelming scent of something that they would like to eat, and then they will turn into a pancake and sit there for sometimes weeks at a time, waiting for that prey to show up. Another cool example of this is whenever I find one of our large diurnally active colubrids, which I tend to think of as some of our smartest snakes, oftentimes they will bite upon initially being captured, but then they will calm down and flick their tongue and watch you intently as you hold them and interact with them. Coach whips, racers, and indigos, I would say, are the most intelligent snakes we have in the United States just based on the awareness and the presence and how evasive they can be in habitat. Seeing coach whips periscope and assess their surroundings before making their next move is just, it's so unique and such a cool experience to have. Eastern indigo snakes have the largest home range of any snake in the United States. An adult male indigo like this guy right here can occupy a territory of over a thousand acres. And they'll still oftentimes return to the same very small patch of habitat to spend their winter. Similarly, some vipers like copperheads and timber rattlesnakes will return to the same rock that they were born at to give birth themselves many years later. Whether you want to call this intelligence or instinct, it's impressive nonetheless. And to me, this proves that there is something more to snakes than just brainless predators that are out to get us. And there's evidence to show that snakes even have social structures, with some individuals preferring to hang out with a group of quote-unquote friends to bask or gestate their young. And perhaps the most human behavior of all that we see in snakes is parental care. Many viper species in the United States will stay with their young until they have shed their skin the first time and are ready to take on the world by themselves. Almost as if it's a responsibility to make sure that their offspring live long enough to have a fair chance in the world. I could go on all day about how impressive snakes can be. For example, I found this rat snake eating an adult chipmunk. 
Rat snakes are not particularly fast, meaning that to capture this chipmunk, the rat snake had to somehow corner it. Seeing this type of mysterious situation in the wild is one of my favorite things about snakes and learning about them. And even with dozens and dozens of brilliant herpetologists studying these animals every day, we still have so much that we don't fully understand about how snakes operate. Some rat snakes will bite when you first encounter them and pick them up. Others, like this one, are almost puppy dog tame and seem to understand that you aren't out to hurt them. As I moved this guy out of the road, I couldn't help but wonder, why did this rat snake choose not to bite me? Hopefully you all have enjoyed this dive into just how complex snake behavior can really be. And in a perfect world, hopefully a few people learned a few things about snakes. Thank you all so much for watching. There's some fantastic weather coming up in the forecast as we start to move into early spring, and I'm super excited about it. So I will see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we will be out in the field.